Hey guys, so what is up? Red Panda Mining here. How you guys all doing? I hope you're all doing really well and having a really great day. In this video, I'm gonna try this 5600 XT on a Linux mining operating system just so I can see if I can get past the 1860 memory that I'm only able to achieve in Windows. I can't go past that for some reason. So hopefully I can maybe achieve higher mega hash on using a Linux mining operating system that you know I'm currently getting right now. You guys know I just, I just BIOS modded it and you guys probably saw that video yesterday. And so I want to try like simple mining OS. I wanna try Hive OS. I wanna try miner stat. I wanna try MMP OS. But in this video, I'm only going to try simplemining.net and then we're going to try HiveOS shortly after. I will do minor stat and I will do MMPOS in another video, but today's video will just be HiveOS and simplemining.net. Okay, so I'm, I'm hoping that I can probably get higher than the 43, 44 mega hash that I'm currently getting right now. I'm hoping I can go above 44, maybe 45 mega hash so that I can bump up the memory as well as uh, maybe play around with the overclocks and undervolts as well that I'm currently getting in Windows. So I know a lot of you guys really like the videos that I have done recently on this 5600 XT. It's, it's a really efficient GPU, don't get me wrong. And I know some of you guys had some some questions about the power consumption and you guys are right so it does say that right now the whole system is getting about 120 130 watts at the wall but the GPU itself I would say is probably taking about another 90 maybe a hundred watts at the wall okay not the 75 or 85 watts that you guys see in the software uh, it is taking a little bit more juice kind of similar to what the Polaris cards do where they add on another like 30 or 40 watts, depending on the overclock settings that you're using and such. Oh man, this 570 is making a weird clicking sound. Okay, yeah, that's, okay, that'll be another video. Anyways, the 5600 XT, I don't wanna waste any time. I'm gonna try out Simple Mining OS first and uh, we'll see what we can achieve, all right? So be right back. SSD is plugged in. I already have it flashing the latest Simple Mining OS image. We're using this one. Uh, this number right here, the one that supports the 5600. Then we can plug it into my test mining rig. Uh, before I shut down the rig, I just want to show you guys on Ethermine, it actually reported the exact 43.9 mega hash that we were getting in Phoenix Miner. The valid shares that we're getting per hour is uh, 42. So it looks like to be pretty good. And it was really stable throughout the whole, I guess the past day or so. And uh, yeah, we're getting pretty solid shares and the reported mega hash, so pretty good. All right, I'm gonna shut her down and plug in the SSD. Okay, Simple Mining is just booting up and I think it's doing some update right now. So I'll show you guys what we can achieve in Simple Mining. Okay, so I am using the same overclock, same undervolt settings that I used in Windows. As you guys can see here, 1100 megahertz, we're doing 700 MV on the core and 930 on the memory. Okay, and we are getting 42.6 mega hash. And mind you, this is with the BIOS mod as well. And the power consumption at the wall is roughly the same as we were getting in Windows. But we are getting about, I would say, huh, two or 1.8, 1.4 mega hash less on simple mining utilizing the same overclock settings that I used in Windows. So let me play around a little bit more and uh, we'll see what we can achieve. Okay, I bumped up the memory another 10 points to 940 and I also upped the undervolt to 720 and I just wanted to see how it behaves and you guys can see here, <laughs> we are only getting about 12 mega hash now. So that doesn't seem to bode well. It says that the core clock is at 300 megahertz, 700 MV, and uh, 875 megahertz. Uh, looks like it went back to stock. So that did not work. Okay, so next test, I'm just going back down to 930 memory. I went back to 700, but I have changed the core up to 1200 now instead of 1100. And we are getting a better result as you guys can see here 43.4 mega hash so that's pretty good and it looks like at the wall we are utilizing just a little bit more power 
maybe another watt or two watts at the wall. It is fluctuating a bit. And uh, yeah, okay, so I'm gonna play around a little bit more here. Okay, I think I found the magical numbers for my 5600 XT specifically. Silicon lottery, of course. I'm using 1300 core, 930 on the memory, 700 millivolts on the core. Now I'm using two more different areas here. So I'm using MVDD, which I'm doing 1290 and then the MVDDCI, which I'm doing 710 here. So if you guys are gonna try this, it's really gonna depend, Silicon Lottery, I've been doing it in increments of 10, so you guys can probably do the same and uh, you know test it out yourselves. I have aggressive undervolt on, I'm not really sure if that does anything. I have the power stage at four, target temperature 75, minimum fan speed at 70. So at the minor, we are now getting 43.6, 43.7 mega hash. And it uh, looks like we have been finding shares just fine. So you guys can see the power consumption there shows 79 watts in the software. But at the wall, we are now utilizing much less power at 125 watts at the wall. So we have saved another five watts compared to using Windows. I mean, we were getting uh, 43.9 mega hash or 43.8 mega hash. Uh, so we've knocked out maybe 0.3 mega hash, but uh, I'm not sure if that's, you know, saving, you know, another five watts for another 0.3 mega hash, if that's any better or not. But I like the different options in simplemining.net that we can use these two different features right there. So I know HiveOS has a feature like this as well, so we are going to try that right now. I'm happy with simplemining.net. It looks like we can achieve really awesome numbers here in simple mining. So let's try HiveOS. Okay, I have it on Hive OS and it's working pretty good so far. <laughs> I have the same overclock and undervolt that I did in Windows. So 1100 core, 700 MV, it's a 693 here, but 930 on the memory and we're getting 43.94. So that is definitely the highest I've ever seen so far. I got like 43.8 or 43.9 in Windows. So we're almost at the, you know, theoretical 44 mega hash. And uh, in the software, it says 85 watts. And we are getting the exact same power consumption uh, as we were in Windows. So yeah, 129 to 130 watts at the total system. And yeah, I haven't done any other changes here. So I can show you in HiveOS specifically the overclocks that I'm using. And yeah, we're getting 43.94, it shows there. Uh, you guys can see the temperature. Memory temperature is not bad, 82 degrees Celsius. And uh, yeah, so let's see the overclocks. I'll show you guys right here on this window. So I haven't done anything different. I'm doing the same overclocks currently, getting 43.94. And uh, yeah, 1100 core, 700 on the millivolts here, and the mem clock at 930, and the fan at 60. Okay, so now I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna play around with uh, these options here, and maybe see if I can uh, get higher than 930 on the memory. So I'm hoping that HiveOS can potentially let me go further than 44 mega hash uh, that you guys can see here okay and I know Phoenix miner does kind of inflate the hash rate and I know Claymore miner does that as well and people have been talking about using team red miner because that is actually the true hash rate so I may do that in another video but I'm just gonna stick with Phoenix miner for these tests and uh, yeah so okay let me try some different overclock numbers here Okay, I dropped it down to 122 watts for the total system. And now we are getting 43, yeah, around the same, 43.9 mega hash. And uh, at the overclock settings, just to show you what I did, I added 720 on the memory voltage and then I added 1290 for the uh, another memory voltage area here. So exact same settings that I did on simplemining.net. Uh, except for the core clock is staying at 1100 and I have the mem clock at 930. So wow, that's pretty good. I dropped another eight watts or so on the total system and in the software you guys can see it dropped down to 78 watts. So that's pretty good. Okay, so let me try to see if I can change the mem clock and get higher mega hash. Nope. I added just one, a point on the mem clock to 931 and it pretty much just crashed the whole miner. Well, it didn't crash, but same thing that happened in simple mining. I added like one or 10 and I'm getting only 12 mega hash. So it looks like, yeah, it went back to default at 875 on the memory. 
So yeah, I, I can't get past 930 on this GPU. Even though it's BIOS modded and I have the you know mem clock passed, uh, I think to a thousand or something. So I can't go any higher than 930. I think it's just locked on the memory, like in the card or something. I'm not really sure. So yeah, it looks like I cannot get past 930 on this GPU. And it seems like on my 5600 specifically, I I can't get past 44 mega hash. So yeah, I'm not quite sure what I can do here. And uh, let me just give this a restart. Okay, so yeah, I can get 43.9 mega hash and uh, 80 watts in the software it says. And those are the clocks that I'm using. And at the wall for the power consumption for the whole system is showing 120, 324 watts now. So I have changed uh, just two little settings here, the same settings that we talked about before. So I was getting some instability with uh, 710 on the voltage MV and as well as uh, the memory voltage at 1290. I just bumped it up to 1300 and now I bumped this up to uh, 750 from 710. So yeah, everything else is the same. 1100 core, 700 on the millivolts there, 750 here, uh, 930 on the memory because we can't go any higher than that. 1300 on this voltage and then 60% fan and yeah we can achieve the 43.9 which yeah very similar in windows except in windows we weren't able to lower those other voltage options there i think we might be able to in phoenix miner they might have some different options there in the batch files so theoretically i think we can do the same thing uh, what hive os and simple mining is doing in windows but you guys can see here it, pretty good 80 watts in the software so at the wall th this is something i always had trouble with because you know amd cards they always give a little bit more power at the wall but you guys can see here 124 watts out the total system and if we were to you know equate you know the delta between having the motherboard and the power supply efficiency and LEDs that are running on the system. How much is that all using, right? So some people were saying like maybe the 5600 is using maybe 100 watts, but if I calculated the idle power consumption for this whole rig, uh, it's about 40 or 35 watts, okay? So really close. If the software is showing 80 watts and we minus out 40 to 45 watts, then we would get 80 watts at the GPU right but 124 watts right now could we say that the rest of the system is using 35 30 40 watts and the gpu is maybe using about 90 watts for the gpu i you know what i i'm okay with that i'm i'm okay with that it's not like the polaris cards where they use like what another 40 watts at the wall or 30 watts it's really hard to say because i only have one gpu here so i'm thinking Maybe I do need to buy like another five and then we can see theoretically at the wall if it's an, another 90 watts, so 90 watts times five, you know, and then add that on to the, for the whole total system power consumption. So that is something I wanna battle in the future. But yeah, I think that's it guys. It looks like we are finding some shares though and uh, oh man, we're almost hitting 44 mega hash. But it sucks that we can't get to the theoretical 44 mega hash on this 5600 XT specifically. So silicon lottery, I'm sure. And uh, yeah. Okay, anyways, guys, I think that's it. Simple mining and Hive OS. Great OSs to use for mining on a 5600 XT. Uh, I would love to know what your guys' settings and stuff are down below. If you guys have a 5600 XT and if you guys are able to get higher than 45, 44 mega hash. I've seen screenshots of 45 mega hash. So I, I'm just curious to know if you know some of these 5600s are are bios locked or just locked on the memory i just can't get past the 930 megahertz on the memory okay my friends that's it i will see you guys in the next video i will try out minor stat and i will try out mmpos on the next video okay so i'll see you guys in the next one have a good one and peace out